Hi and welcome to another episode of Rutgen Brymaster. Today we're making our very own Italian style pizza. And what you need for it and how to do it, I'm going to show you in this episode. And this is all we need for today. We need some flour, we need lukewarm water, we need some milk, we need some olive oil, we need some whole skinned tomatoes, which we're going to make the tomato sauce out of. Then we need some oregano, some salt, some sugar, some yeast, some semolina, uh, grated mozzarella. Now um, you can use any cheese you like, but I think mozzarella re works really well. Then we need some basil as well as salami. In the next step, we're now going to mix up the flour, the salt and the olive oil, as well as the milk, the water and sugar and yeast. As I said, we're going to now mix the salt, the flour, as well as a little bit of uh, olive oil. And I like to use a truffle oil here for added flavor. We're going to mix it through first to make sure that uh, the, the salt and the olive oil has uh, nicely coated the flour and then we're going to take care of the yeast. We're going to take the lukewarm water, we're going to add the milk to it and it brings it to a good temperature where the yeast likes to work. Now we're going to put the sugar in first and then the dry yeast and then we're going to let that work. Now we can stir it a little bit just to give the yeast the chance to really interact with the sugar. And then we're gonna let it sit there for about five minutes for the yeast to do its job. And then we're going to mix it with the flour. The dough, the salt and the olive oil have now mixed. We're now adding our yeast, sugar, water, milk mixture to it. We're letting that mix for a couple of minutes until the dough has the correct consistency. The dough has the consistency we want, so what we're going to do now, we're going to cover it with a wet cloth and then we're going to set it aside for about two hours. All right, with the oregano as well as the basil, we're just going to chop it up and we're going to put it together with the tomatoes. And just very quickly, you, know, you don't have to do it particularly fine or thin. Um, all you want basically are the oils to distribute in the tomato sauce. Same with the basil. And inside. Once all the herbs are in, um, what I like to do is I like to get my hands dirty a little bit. And you know you have these big chunky tomatoes and I like to squeeze them a little bit. so that they become a bit, yeah, squeezed up, squished up. The, um, you know, you could obviously use a puree stick now, but I really don't like that. I like my, my tomatoes chunky. I think it makes a greater consistency on the pizza. We're gonna bring the tomato sauce up to a boil and going to season it with a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. And once it has come to a boil, we're going to take it off the stove, set it aside for use later. After two hours, we're going to remove the dough. It has risen nicely and we're going to separate it into four individual portions because we're making four pizza today. But first we'll have to knead the dough a little bit. So I'm going to get some flour onto my hands. And then we're going to fold over the dough and knead it a little bit to make it into four individual portions. What you do is you always pull a little bit and then you fold it over. You pull and fold over, pull, fold over, pull, fold over. Now what this does is it gives the dough its flexibility that it needs later on to be spread into proper little pizza. And what you do is you shape the four individual uh, portions into these little balls and then you set them aside. Um, I put some semolina into this pan so that it doesn't stick and then we're going to cover it again with 
a wet cloth. Now I'm going to do this with the rest of them and um, then we're going to set it aside for another half an hour to 45 minutes. Thirty minutes later, our little dough balls have risen again. Now, just in case you're wondering why there's these uh, funny dots all over it, I decided to put some of the oregano and the rosemary inside the dough as well to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Now, we're going to take the dough out. We're going to spread some semolino on the surface, and then we're going to make our pizza. Very important, keep the pizza doughs that you're not currently using covered so they stay nice and moist. We're making a little test today. Um, I'm going to use uh, the uh, baking um, like parchment paper for the very first time on the uh, barbecue outside and uh, well I hope it doesn't burn. <laughs> but what you do is you, you pick up your, your dough and you just basically let gravity do do the work um, by just holding it on the top here and then the dough stretch it by itself. Now that takes a little bit of time but um, it's actually not that bad. Now I'm gonna put it on the parchment paper in a second and then um, we're gonna take it outside after we've put on the tomato sauce, the cheese and obviously the salami. Now we're going to put on the tomato sauce first what you do is you, you put it in the center and then you spread it outwards. Anything that's not covered by either tomato sauce or the cheese will get burned. So I suggest that you put a little bit of effort into it. Then we're going to add the cheese and then we're going to add the salami. And now we're going to put it on the barbecue and then I'm going to take you outside with me. Right, my enders with the pizza stone as well as the cover from Barbecue Toro has reached the desired temperature and we're now going to put the pizza in. And we're going to let it sit there until it has a nice golden brownish color. And through the miracle of time, there's our pizza. Now I think it looks fantastic and it has really worked well with the parchment paper even though that's a bit burnt but let's cut it now. And let me tell you guys it is hot. <laughs> and there you have it. A homemade pizza on the gas barbecue. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and a comment. And obviously please hit that subscribe button for more great videos to come. And obviously I hope to see you soon at Rutgen Brymaster.